hello friends and welcome back to my youtube channel so in the previous video we wrote all this code and we tested the functionality we got uh, successfully connected to our server and if we lost the internet connection our disconnect screen was showing hello friends and welcome to my youtube channel so before proceeding to the video i just want you guys to know about my multiplayer course so i have created a multiplayer course with over 40 plus lectures and you can see that it's uh, more than six hours of lectures on multiplayer game development using photon 2 which is the latest version in 2019 so uh, this is the very detailed course and in uh, there are some free videos and you can uh, take that to see if this course is good for you or not so uh, the link of the discount coupon is in the description so i encourage you guys to uh, buy this course by using that coupon code because uh, you will get the discount so whatever price uh, right here is you will be uh, you will find discounted price uh, by using the uh, discount coupon link so let's go back to our script so right now in here we are uh, connecting to master and we have on disconnected and then we are joining the lobby so right here we are joining the lobby so if what if uh, we get uh, successfully connected to lobby the next step is to create and join a room so for that let's go back to the uh, editor and i am going to enable the connected screen and uh, let's move this text so i'm going to move it at the top or maybe bottom left or right here now in here we are going to have two input fields and buttons for our uh, creating and joining room so let's go and create an input field and uh, rename it to create room tf so tf means text field and let's duplicate that by hitting ctrl d and rename it join room tf and drag it uh, right here now i am going to center the first text field and align second one uh, right here so we can make them bigger so select both of the text field and scale them and also we are going to create two buttons so let's create a new button and this button is going to be so this one is create room so this one but this button is going to be create btn and change the text to create room now i'm going to duplicate this button and rename it to join btn and drag it right here and change the text to join room also we are going to change the placeholder text so enter room name with three dots and the second one also so just copy that and put it in the placeholder now let's create a new script to handle the 
on click events of on that from uh, buttons so on my launcher game object i'm going to create a new script with called ui handler create and edit on our launcher game object so let's open it up in the visual studio and in here we are going to say public void and on click so one of them is join room and i am going to copy the same and paste it and on click create room so in the on click join room uh, what we are going to do is we are going to join the room so photon so we need to import the using photon dot pun so also let's get a reference of these two fields because uh, we are going to need the name that user enters so in here first of all import the unity engine dot ui so i'm going to say using unity engine dot ui and in here we are going to create a public reference for input field so public input field create room copy that and let's append the tf and tf and this is going to be join room so join room tf now in here we are going to say photon network so let's do the create room first so photon network dot create room and it is going to take uh, the first argument the room name and the second argument is going to be the room options and in the room options we can define multiple things so let's grab the name from our create room tf so create room tf dot text and the room option we are going to create a new object of room options so new so to use the room options we are going to need the photon dot real time namespace so let's in here quickly using photon dot real time and this is going to be new room options and in here we are simply going to say max player is equal to 4 and let's see and the third argument is going to be expected user equals to null so simply put null now in the join room simply say photon network dot join room and you can see it is going to take the room name and expected user so let's say in the join room we are going to uh, in the name field we are going to grab the name from join room tf and put it right here dot text and put null now let's go back to unity and let's assign the uh, events so in the connected screen we have the create button so i'm going to create an event and drag my launcher game object right here and on the launcher we have ui handler so this is create so on click create room and for join we are going to do the same on click join room 
now we are also going to get uh, two callbacks one if we successfully connected to our room and one if the joining to room or creation of room failed so to use those callbacks we are going to inherit from mono behavior pun callbacks because uh, mono behavior don't know about the definition of those functions so let's say public override void on joined room and for now simply say print room joined success and the second one is going to be public override void so let's see on join room failed now in here we have two arguments one of them is the message and the other one is short code so let's copy that print statement and in here we're going to say room failed plus return code and then we are going to append the message with message so let's go back and see if our room creation is working or not so I'm going to disable this connect screen and let's play the game so I'm going to connect and in a moment we will be connected so we are successfully connected so now we are going to create a room so let's say room 1 and hit create so now we are getting a null reference because we always forget to assign the function so let's go to create btn but it is right here and so on the launcher we need to assign these two fields so let's drag the create room tf in here and join room tf in here so clear the console and let's see if it works now sorry we are going to disable this connect screen so now if i click on connect right here and if we are going to create a room so let's say room 1 and create and in the console we should have a message called join room success so if i double click on that message it is going to get me to its location so it means we are successfully connected to our room so that's it for this video and if you like the video please hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any problems.